Dear Mark McGowan, do you like boobies? People used to come from all around the world to see our boobies here on Christmas Island, and we say it's okay to look, but don't touch. This is because, well, one thing can lead to another, and while they're beautiful birds, if I'm honest, there's a lot of crabs around here, if you know what I mean. And people say if you catch crabs, then crabs can be hard to get rid of. And while yes, it's easy to pass it on to someone else, you're better off just not catching crabs in the first place. At Swell Lodge, we use protection, even for our vehicles, because every year here, there's at least one serious outbreak of crabs. There's also a unique strain of thrush on Christmas Island, often seen in the red light district, but as there's only one traffic light here leading to a cave, it's pretty easy to avoid. I only know of one person who's caught thrush here. She was a student studying thrush, actually, and I wasn't there when she caught it. What a lot of people do catch here, though, is tuna, and another very exciting fish called a wahoo, which is the sound tourists make when they hook one. So yes, Mr. McGowan, there are a few things you can catch here, but guess what? Coronavirus isn't one of them. There's never been a single positive case of coronavirus on Christmas Island, ever. Our island's been in lockdown since March, and there's no way on or off except the twice weekly flights from Perth, which are basically empty. Out here, we've been doing it tougher than most because despite having a WA postcode, being governed by WA laws, and being a member of WA Tourism, when we apply for WA grants for struggling tourism businesses, we're told we're ineligible, as we're Indian Ocean Territories and not part of Western Australia. A few weeks ago, following medical advice, our local administration finally agreed to allow WA residents to come to Christmas Island without needing to quarantine in a bid to try and save our starved tourism industry. So wahoo, I thought. WA residents can finally come here and have an amazing tropical holiday at Swell Lodge, swap their wintry leather jackets for leather jackets, look at boobies and avoid catching crabs with no need to quarantine on arrival into this 100% COVID free paradise. Except that when they return home to WA, you're forcing them to quarantine in case they caught what, Mark? Crabs? After a few weeks of this, I was pretty excited to hear you're finally creating a travel bubble to allow people from the Indian Ocean Territories to enter WA without having to quarantine. I initially thought, wahoo, again. But then I read that your exemption might only apply to people who live here and want to visit WA, but not to your own returning tourists who can only have come from WA just days before and spent their whole time on our COVID-free island. At this point, I just thought, frigate bird. Can you please sort this out? Regards, Swell Lodge, Christmas Island.